CKB TV presents the high school game of the week. Tonight, it's Lawrence County and the Pikeville Panthers. Official Jonathan Moger with a basketball in hand, getting ready to uh, tip things off. He'll be joined by Joey Dotson, Tim Trent, working the basketball game here tonight. Officials in center circle along with Timmy Dalton and Zach Huff, and the tip is up. It is controlled by Pikeville. The Panthers with the ball. They'll be going right to left as we sit courtside here at John Bill Trivet Court. 15th region matchup here tonight. Pikeville and Lawrence. Bulldogs open up in the 2-3. Blaine May runs it up top for the Panthers. Wyatt Battle on the left side to Caleb Skeens at the elbow. Back to May. May looking in the corner for the sharpshooter, Drew Walters. Wasn't there. Back to May. May with a dribble. He'll reset the offense once more for Coach Bart Williams. Dribbles to the near side. Now picks it up in trouble. Cross court to Drew Walters. Back to battle. Battle, head fake. Quick first step. Pull up from eight. Got it. Man, he just developed into a pure shooter, J.D. Confidence has gone off the charts. The freshman, Wyatt Battle, with the first deuce of the basketball game. Panthers, they draw first blood. They lead two to nothing. Kaiser underneath. Timmy Dalton forces the shot. Not there. Loose ball picked up by the Panthers. Pikeville, they want to run with it. Ahead to Battle. Battle, one step, gets baseline, steps on the baseline. Turnover, Pikeville. I tell you, in this 2-3 zone, J.D., the way it's worked out is Dalton's on the back line guarding Huffman. That's something Pikeville might be able to take advantage of here early in the game, maybe try to get Dalton in foul trouble. You heard the comments from Coach Bart Williams. He expects big things out of Zach Huffman here tonight. Yeah, he the opportunity's there. Cannot wait till the third quarter. He's got to do it from the first quarter. Austin Chafin dribbles to the near side, crossover dribble, leaves it for Brandon Richardson. Richardson puts it on the floor, now picks it up, kicks it on the right wing. Shot on the way, no good from Sean Moore. Rebound on the backside for Blaine May. May quickly down the right side, drives to the basket, the contact. Basket will not go, blocking is the call. That'll send the junior to the free throw line for two shots. I mean, that was a good call, but J.D., that's just one of those where the offensive player initiates the contact. There's not a whole lot the defender can do, and that was a smart play that time by Blaine May. Foul on Grant Kaiser. That's his first, team number one. May at the free throw line. Number one is good. Need a big game out of this young man as well. May eyes the basket, second free throw on the way. That one a little bit of iron, but it goes down. The junior hits them both. He's got two. The Panthers have a 4-0 lead. Chafin across the time stripe into front court. Picks up the dribble, goes on the left side to Kaiser. Kaiser down on the baseline, Dalton reverse layup, got caught up in the air. Shot will not go, the whistle and a foul on Pikeville. The foul on Wyatt Battle, number one on the freshman. That will send Lawrence County's leading scorer, Timmy Dalton, to the free throw line for two shots. Dalton's first is no good. I guess we've got a construction theme in the uh, student <laughs> section yeah. tonight. Our, or uh, utility man. workers, uh, village people. Five five. <laughs> second, second free throw is good. From shorts are throwing it's scary me. because I was thinking village people out right there. <laughs> Huffman with a basketball into the corner for Blaine May. Back out to Caleb Skeen. Skeen <laughs> thought about it to May. Down on the block, Huffman. Spins into the lane, no good. Got his own rebound. Second attempt will not go. Loose ball. Skeens can't run it down. Last touched by Pikeville. Basketball will belong to the Bulldogs. And, you know, how many times have we seen that this year? J.D. Pikeville taking a one-foot shot, and the ball just will not drop. Under six to play in the first quarter. Chafin with a basketball. Basketball over to Richardson. Back to Chafin, head of the key. Near side, three on the way is good from Grant Kaiser. The junior hits the triple, and we're tied at four. Well, first one thing we know, we know that this Lawrence County team can shoot. Panthers break the press. Drew Walters out of the corner, three, no good. Tip up for May, no good. Battles attempt, no. Loose ball, Huffman, no. Two or three offensive rebounds and nothing to show for it. Dalton has it, they want to run. 
Hop step in the lane, flips it high off the glass, will not go. Loose ball, tipped around. Richardson has it for Lawrence County. Oh. Slid on the carpet. Turnover, Bulldogs. Their first one of the night, but wow, Pipe with four chances down here on this end and within what, two feet of the basket. Somebody's got to get the lid off that basket. Skeens, inbound pass, comes out to midcourt to Huffman, tipped around. Skeens has it. Skeens with a dribble, penetrates, stops at the elbow, back out to May, over and back. There's another turnover by Pikeville. Boy, that, the ball handling on that whole trip was just not good. It was sketchy at best. Starting with your power forward, bringing the ball up court. Five minutes to play in the quarter. We're tied at four. Warrior! On the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Down low to Dalton. The whistle, the foul, that's going to do believe on Skeens, and it is. That's Caleb's first, number two on Pikeville. Lawrence County, they'll throw it in to the left of their own goal. 4.53 left to play in the first. Chafin inbounds, quick jumper from Kaiser, no good. Rebound, Huffman, battle, Walters got it. That's transition basketball. That's unselfish basketball too. Nice passing that whole trip. Chafin pulls up from the left elbow, bounces off the rim. Offensive rebound and put back by Brandon Richardson. We're tied at six once again. Full court pressure, a little 2-2-1 two -two out of the Bulldogs. May. Down the right side, Huffman back to May, streaking toward the basket, good. Hey, that was just a nice play by May. Recognized nobody was moving over to cut him off, so you keep going. 8-6, Panthers by two, Lawrence County with the basketball. Down on the block, the little turnaround from Kaiser will not go. The whistle, a foul again on Pikeville. That's going to go on Drew Walters. Number one on Walters. That's three team fouls now against the Panthers. At the free throw line will be Grant Kaiser. He'll have two shots, number one up and in. This Kaiser's a good basketball player, too. Tanner Black checks into the lineup for Lawrence County, makes his first appearance. Free throw number two is good. Kaiser hits them both. He's got five. We're tied at eight. <laughs> Skeens in the backcourt to Blaine May. May says, go on, I've got it. The junior brings it into front court, picked up by Austin Chafin. May still with a dribble, five second count is on. May picks it up on the wing, gets it to the elbow to Skeens. Skeens near side, Walters three up, no good. Loose ball, battered around, Skeens on the floor, comes away with a rebound. Gets it to Huffman, back to May. May one step, baseline cut off by Richardson. Battle straight away, three ball, left it short. Tip into the hands of Blaine May, Panthers keep it. Skeens on the right wing. Pass near side, picked off by Richardson. One on one, Richardson wants to go behind the back. A little mustard on that one, draws the foul. It's gonna go on through Walters. I was guessing Skeens. Walters picks up his second. J.D. Pike already has 11 rebounds to Lawrence County's two. Inbounds pass the lob to Timmy Dalton. He just goes up and touches it over the rim. For two. Officials want three seconds run off the clock. For what reason? I do not know. I don't know either. So now, should be 323. They did. They ran the three seconds off. I don't understand. We all weren't with, in agreement on the time. With three and a half to play in the first quarter and a 10-8 game, I don't think it had a <laughs> oh. emphasis on the outcome. Holding on the inbounds pass. Austin Chafin picks up his first. Not where you want to see that young man pick up a foul. No, but we're just having a little trouble getting in a rhythm here early in the ball game. All those involved. Yeah. Skeens, the inbound pass. Into the hands of Wyatt, battle, battle. Into front court, coast to coast, layup, no good, tip, up. Battle couldn't save it, out of bounds. Lawrence County ball. Nice drive, just didn't get the ball up high enough to go in the hoop. 
10 to 8, Lawrence County with a two point lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. 3 10 to play in the first quarter. Richardson's got it on the right wing. Bounce pass in the paint to Kaiser. A little turnaround jumper rattles and falls. Grant Kaiser with seven of the Lawrence County 12. They lead 12 8, under three to play. Lawrence missed their first six shots from two point country, and they've made their last three. Wyatt Battle dribbles on the near side. Back to Caleb Skeen. Skeens puts it on the floor, dribbles straight away. Picked up by Kaiser. Skeens has it. Hand off to May. May penetrates, kicks in the corner. Battle, freshman, gets baseline. There's a little running one-hander from Wyatt Battle. He's got four in the game. Cuts the Bulldog lead to two. Chafin quickly up the floor. Loses the handle into the corner for Kaiser. Kaiser drives baseline, kicks it to Timmy Dalton on the left side. Dalton gets a man in the air, takes it up, will not go, draws a foul. That'll send Dalton back to the line once more. That's going to be number two on Caleb Skeens. Skeens with two, Walters with two, battle with one. Timmy Dalton to the free throw line. He's one of two in the basketball game, three points thus far. Two point lead for the Bulldogs. Free throw from Dalton is short, no good. Ryder Johnson, Connor Reisner into the game. Caleb Skeens and Drew Walters take a seat. Dalton's second free throw is good. Once again, hits one of two from the stripe. Three-point lead for Lawrence County. Ryder Johnson over on the right side to Blaine May. May picks up the dribble, comes off the screen, a little give and go. Huffman's got it off the glass. Get in. There it is. Nice hoop by Huffman. He'd get him on track. Two for the senior. Very quickly in the front court is Lawrence County. Timmy Dalton driving. Oh, man. Nope. Don't agree with that unless someone else got him with the body because Blaine May didn't. He got all he basketball. Got and that's who the foul's on. Foul was on May. That's his first personal foul, sending Dalton to the free throw line. A lot of calls are made in anticipation of what's going to happen, not what really does. Free throw, no good. I thought that was a pretty nice defensive play from Blaine May. Well, it was clear enough that we saw it from half court. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dalton second on the way good. Once again, he hits one of two from the stripe. Three of six in the game. It's a two-point Bulldog lead at 14 to 12. A buck 45 to play in the quarter. Panthers with the basketball. Johnson, Reisner, Huffman, Battle, and May for the Panthers. Ryder Johnson, flip shot in the paint, no good. Reisner kept it alive, second attempt, no. Reisner, no. Again, the Panthers have three pretty good looks. Dalton quickly up the floor. Got a man in the air. Shot blocked by Zach Huffman. Out of bounds. Lawrence County will keep it. <laughs> I think the uh, union workers over the front row, <laughs> they enjoyed the work from Huffman. I like that little block work. Yeah, they did. Board work. I'm sorry. Board work. <laughs> Boy, as an opponent, that's the last place you want to Yo, try to throw the basketball yeah. in. There's the lob inside to Dalton. Dalton, contact. Man. Foul on the Panthers. I tell you, you almost call that a double or you let it go. I mean, contact both ways. Zach Thacker now in the basketball game, and he gets whistled for his first. Dalton's going for free throws number nine and ten for Lawrence County here in the first quarter. That's a bad pace. You remember that Prestonsburg game, J.D.? Jim? I have tried to put that one. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Out of my mind. 67 in that one, I believe. Yeah, it was every bit of it. Dalton's free throw, good. Well, Dalton had previously missed his first out of two on his first three trips, and he missed the second this time. Switched it up. Yep. 15-12, three-point lead for the Bulldogs. Panthers have it. Dalton Meade now in the game. Meade, head fake, drives, left-handed wow. layup, good by the big man. There's that left hand. We've missed that for a couple games. Dalton Meade with a deuce. One-point Lawrence County lead. One minute to play in the quarter. Whoa, offensive foul. 
Foul is called on Timmy Dalton. They got Dalton with a clear out on the baseline. I didn't see that one, but he, the ref was right behind it when it happened. So he's the best angle in the building. Wyatt Battle back in the basketball game. Blaine May goes out. Let's set the uh, lineup once again for Pikeville. Zach Thacker, Ryder Johnson, Wyatt Battle, Connor Reisner, Dalton Meade for the men in maroon. Johnson has it on the right side. Screen set by Meade. Brings it on the near side. Battle's got it. Pull up jumper on the way. Good. Boy, he just got that shot down. Six for the freshman, and Pikeville has a one-point lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Chafin, crossover dribble, spinning at the free throw line, scoop shot in the lane, no. Meade with the outlet ahead, battle to the glass, got it. Nice. Eight for the freshman, Dalton. Oh, oh. Up the floor in a hurry. Before the shot, the foul is going to be called on Wyatt Battle number two on the freshman in Lawrence County already in the bonus. And we've still got 23 <laughs> seconds to play in the first quarter. First quarter, this isn't halftime. Dalton is four of eight from the stripe. Make it five of nine. Twenty-three point seven ticks on a first quarter clock. Second free throw is no good. Five of ten in the quarter. May with the basketball in the front court to Ryder Johnson on the left wing. Fifteen seconds. May's got it on the left side. Back to Johnson at twelve. May left wing picked up by Tanner Black. Blay May has it. Dribble, hop, step in the paint, scoop, shot, got it. Yeah, lane was wide open the whole way. One second, he from half court, no good. One quarter in the books, your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Pikeville 20, Lawrence County 16. Back after this, it's Panther basketball on EKB Sports. Welcome back to Pikeville High School. I'm J.D. Hughes. To my left is Jim Williamson. Panthers have a four-point lead after the first quarter, 20 to 16. Uh, Coach Bart Williams uh, substituting a little, little more than normal in the first quarter, uh, but the Panthers played some nice basketball. Well, it, uh, more up tempo than what Pike was used to, plus a little warmer in the gym tonight, as we've already talked about. Yes, it is. So I think it's smart getting more players in. Timmy Dalton with the basketball for the Bulldogs yeah. and contact out high. Zach Thacker will be whistled That's for good, his second. Good call, but I just don't understand why you foul somebody at half court. You know what I mean? Nine fouls called already against Pikeville. And Dalton's been shooting free throws most of the game. I'm you have flashbacks. Can. I'm telling you. But now that was a legitimate call. Free throw from Dalton is good. We'll get ready to rebound this one. Yep, six of 11 now. And by the way, Pike was two of two. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that out there. Free throw, Dalton, good. Wow, made them both. 20 to 18, two point lead for the Panthers. Dalton Meade has it. Meade, May, Reisner, Battle, and Johnson for Pikeville. May. Ryder Johnson, runner in the lane, got it. That's where Ryder Johnson is tough. When he can get a step on you and get the defender off balance, he'll pull up on a dime and hit the little jumper. And altered the shot while he was in the air. Nice athletic play by Ryder Johnson. Pikeville up four on the Bulldogs from Lawrence County right now. Dalton penetrates, nice defense by Reisner. Great help from Blaine May, May with a steal. Johnson's got it in the front court. Blows by oh. two defenders to the basket. Good. Pikeville's made six two-pointers in a row. Speed kills. Yeah, That's man. what happened just now. Ryder hit Johnson the hit the afterburners. Long three up. Whoa. Long three in. Brandon Richardson. Oh, that was a big-time shot. That was not towing the mark. Three-point lead for the Panthers. They've got the basketball. May. Off the dribble, drives, bounce pass in the paint. One Turn pass it. too many. 
May got caught up in the air in no man's land. Bulldogs with the basketball. Chafin across the time stripe in the front court. Over on the left side to Kaiser. Back to Chafin straight away. Screen set by Kaiser. Penetrates. Dalton's got it. Kaiser left wide open straight away. In and out from behind the arc. Loose oh. ball. Richardson comes away with it. Contact to the paint as he goes back up. No whistle. Give the deuce to Brandon Richardson. He's got seven. That was just effort play by Lawrence County. Pike was got to hold on to that rebound. One point lead for Pikeville. May out high for the Panthers. Near side. Battle has it. Into the corner for Connor Reisner. Down on the block to Dalton Meade. That's whistle. A little push from behind. If it's two. on Timmy Dalton, that's two. I wondered when we'd see Huffman back in. And it was on Dalton. That is number two on the sophomore, averaging 24 points per basketball game. Well, he gets in foul trouble. He picks up a third. That's big time. If he's playing that back line and Huffman's in there, that's exactly where I'm going. I'm going to go right back at him. You're exactly right. Well, they May. don't save him out. Yeah, May with a dribble to battle. Battle. Contact from Dalton. Should've no whistle. Should have gone on in. Back to Ryder Johnson. I'm going back at Dalton quickly as possible. Johnson pulls up from behind the arc, partially blocked. Lawrence County has it. Richardson brings it down, stops from behind the stripe. No good. Rebound, tip around. May has it. Out of the head. Wyatt Battle, the layup is good. Ten for the freshman, Wyatt Battle. What's he? A little moisture on the floor. Official says we need a towel. We'll have stoppage for just a moment. Wyatt Battle, 10 in the basketball game. Great heads up play again. Blaine May got the rebound and immediately looked ahead to Wyatt Battle, the freshman streaking down toward the goal and uh, on the receiving end of a pretty nice toss from May. May is one of those guys that likes to run and gun style, but what you're seeing out of Pikeville tonight is they're playing smart while playing fast. And uh, just like layups like that, the pass to battle. It may be early in the game, but I like what I see from Pikeville, especially coming, coming off. off the district yeah, loss. I wondered what kind of attitude they'd have, and it's been impressive so far. Chafin into the corner to Richardson. Richardson down on the baseline to Timmy Dalton. Dalton looks in for Kaiser, not there. Back out on the wing to Richardson. Screen set by Dalton. Richardson goes baseline, a little double clutch. Layup is good. Brandon Richardson, he has nine in the game, back to a one-point Panther lead. They've got the basketball. Blaine May on the left wing, comes off the screen by Huffman, picks up the dribble, bounce oh. pass in the lane. Huffman up over the rim, good. Nice pass by May, getting it through the trees. And that's eight in a row from two-point land for Pygel. Four for Huffman. What is that, three assists in a row? For Blaine May. Yes, sir, and that was a nice pass. Three-point pike full lead, 420 to play in the quarter. Bulldog, three ball out of the corner, no good. Timmy Dalton, the offensive rebound, spinning. Contact, goes back up, no. Somebody was over the back. Yep, loose ball. Lawrence County, Brandon Richardson, and Connor Reiser fight for the basketball. Goes out of bounds, last touch by Richardson. Ball will belong to the Panthers. Caleb Skeens back in. Skeens, Huffman, Reisner, Johnson, and May. Now Skeens has got to be careful with those two fouls, but he's one of the best defenders Pikeville's got. About six or seven different combinations we've seen on the floor for Pikeville. And so far, all of them's worked pretty well. They've all worked. Reisner to Ryder Johnson, back to Connor Reisner, over to May. Down on the block. Yeah. Huffman. Oh, is this three? This might be three. Yep. Big gamble by Lawrence County leaving Dalton in. The foul is on Timmy Dalton. That is his third. And uh, we always try to tell it like it is. Very easily could have been an offensive foul on Huffman to begin the play. Yeah, well, he had a last trip down too, to be uh -huh. honest with you. Huffman at the line. The shot is good. Pipewell's third free throw of the game. The senior center will have one more. He's got five, looking for point number six in the basketball game. Oh, nice. And gets it. Boy, he has nice rotation on his free throws. The senior averaging nearly 16 points per basketball game. He's got six at this point. It's a five-point pike full lead, 30 to 25 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Chafin 
Dribbles on the left wing. Pass oh. near side. Three on the way. Good. Coming off the bench and firing is Matt Ratliff, the junior. Hits his first three-point attempt. Blaine May. Oh. Tries to return the favor. Cannot. Misses from downtown. Rebound. Chafin coast to coast. The layup is good from Austin Chafin, and we're tied at 30. Unreal. Ryder Johnson to Skeens. The defender falls down. Skeens can't get the eight-footer to go. Reisner kept it alive to May. Johnson, three if it goes. It does not. Caleb Skeens comes over the back. That's three. Yeah, he'll be coming right back out then. Battle going back in. And again, that's a hustle foul, J.D. You can't get mad at those, but Skeens just has to be aware. 30 apiece on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Two minutes and 57 seconds left to play in the first half. Well, we've had issues all night with substitutions uh, being allowed in the basketball <laughs> game, not being allowed. Time. So, yeah, before we shoot the free throws, we'll logistics yeah we're having a logistics problem that's it chafin's free throw good so now caleb skeens will go ahead and have a seat yeah Wyatt battle will come in the game <laughs> 31 30 lawrence county now with a one point lead chafin's second attempt in the air it's good 32-30, two-point Bulldog lead. Panthers with the basketball. May, Huffman up top, left wing to Wyatt Battle. Looks in the paint for a Huffman. Back out to Connor Reisner. Baseline jumper, no good. Lawrence County has it. Bulldogs want to run. Chafin, that's a charge. That's a charge. There you go. Yeah. That's a good call. Nice hit. Two on Austin Chafin. 2.39 to play in the half. Panthers trailing the Bulldogs by two. They've got the basketball. Thanks for joining us tonight on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting, the Oldies Radio Network, and EKB TV along tonight as well. Pass nice. on the backside. Ryder Johnson moves without the basketball and shoots an air ball. Nice pass by Reisner, though. Richardson across the time stripe into front court. Dribbles on the left side. Still with the dribble. Near side it comes to Chafin. 2-10 to play in the half. Chafin dribbles on the right wing, picked up by Ryder Johnson. Chafin picks it up straight away to Richardson. Richardson looks inside. Get on the floor. There you go, Reisner. To what? Kaisner. Connor Reisner took it away. Jump okay. ball is the call. Nope. Timeout. Timeout. Panthers get the timeout. 30-second timeout. So we'll go ahead and keep it right here. Good job by Connor Reisner. The reach around without committing the foul. Well, that's those 50-50 balls that Calipari likes talking about. That's just a chance for you to hustle and come up with a play. Reisner hustled, got on the floor. A lot of guys will stand there and look at it. And they came up with a good turnover. Again, Lawrence County leading by two, just under two minutes to go in the first half. JD 11 of Lawrence County's 32 points have come from the free throw stripe. I mean, Pikeville is committing most of these fouls, but, I mean, you're giving them three points. And you say 11 of their points could have been 10 or 11 more. Well, it could have been. Yeah, because uh, we, Mr. Dalton liked going 50% there for a while. 32 to 30, only a two-point Lawrence County lead. Very easily could be double-digit lead for the Bulldogs. And you got to cut down on the fouls if your pie won't keep giving them the free shots at the basket. One minute. And 50 seconds to play in the half. Panthers have the basketball out of the timeout. Wyatt battle to Johnson. Over to Drew Walters on the right wing. Back to Ryder Johnson. Johnson now puts it on the floor. Near side battle's got it to May. Down on the corner. Huffman powers it up. Draws contact. He'll go to the line for two more. Well, that's the play, J.D. He's open inside on his zone, and he's either going to score or he's going to get fouled. Foul on Grant Kaiser, number two on Kaiser. Huffman's free throw, no good. 
Huffman will have a second. Free throw up and in. The big man hits one of two. Thirty-two, thirty-one, one point lead for the Bulldogs. Chafin has it. Dribbles top of the key. On the left wing, Richardson looks underneath. Kaiser. Oh, There's nice. a little reach around this time from Drew, Drew Walters. Walters. Loose ball. Battle into front court. Panthers with numbers. Oh. Pass underneath. Tipped out by Matt Ratliff of Lawrence County. Panthers will keep it. I like the unselfishness of battle, but he needed to take it straight on in. Ryder Johnson will throw it in to the right of the Panther basket. Johnson looking, looking out high to Drew Walters. Into the hands of Blaine May. A minute 10 to play in the half. Battle to May out near the hash marks. Battle comes to get it. He'll reset the offense. Straight away, Ryder Johnson's got it. Over to Battle at the elbow, Zach Huffman. He walked, yeah, he that's did. a good call. Both teams with seven here in the first half. I'm not sure Pike will know what the play was supposed to be. There's a couple of them there looking at each other like they weren't sure. We bragged on first quarter play, second quarter not that good. Chafin got a step. Either way, that's not a good foul. Nope, drove to the basket, drew the contact. He'll be at the stripe. The uh, foul on Zach Huffman. I have it as number one on the Pikeville center. And to the free throw line is Austin Chafin. He'll have two shots. He's two of two from the stripe. Free throw in the air, it's good. The junior averages a little over 12 points per basketball game. He's got five to this point. Getting ready to shoot free throw number 17 in the first half for Lawrence County. Second free throw up and in. Nice, nice form. Chafin has hit all four of his attempts. It's a three point Bulldog lead. 45 seconds to play in the half. Panthers need a bucket, go in on a high note. Down on the block, Huffman. Back in the corner, Drew Walters. Back to Huffman. Huffman may have walked again, had it stripped by Ratliff. Bulldogs have it. Chafin quickly to the goal and scores. Not the outcome Pike will want it on that trip. They'll try it again. May. Walters, quick three out of the corner. Bingo. There you go. Drew Walters with the three. He's got five. On senior night. Yes, sir. Two-point lead. Chafin dribbles on the right side. Wants to spin. Nice D by Johnson. Six seconds. Kaiser puts it on the floor. Penetrates. Layup. Comes off. No good. Tip back up and in. At the buzzer is good by Tanner Black. Panthers didn't box out. Lawrence County gets the deuce. Your score at the half. It is Lawrence County 38, Pikeville 34 on the Hut Chevy scoreboard. We'll take this time out. When we come back, we'll wrap things up from the first half. We'll have statistics and scoring, all that and more. It is Panther basketball right here on your official home for Panther sports, the Oldies Radio Network. Welcome back to Pikeville High School. J.D. Hughes and Jim Williamson with you here tonight. 38-34 Lawrence County uh, with the lead at the break. Both teams have made back, made their way back out on the court, uh, now getting their final instructions from uh, their respective coaching staff. Jim Williamson, uh, what do we have to see out of the Panthers here in the second half to uh, pull out a win? Well, I mean, the stat that jumped out at me at halftime, J.D., is the 13 of 18 that Lawrence County is shooting from the free throw stripe. If you're Pikeville, you got to play defense, move your feet, and cut them off from the basket. Don't hit them as they go by. And uh, if you can cut down on the free throws, I think, in the second half, and you got to own the boards. That's what uh, – own the paint on both ends is how Coach Williams likes to put it. I think you got to make sure they're one and done and uh, don't do silly fouls. No more of those fouls out uh, 20, yes. 24 feet away from the basket. I mean, and all you're doing is letting Dalton shoot free throws on that. Yeah, I've seen enough of that yeah. in the first half. Panthers will have the basketball as we start second half play. Moving the basketball left to right. Oh. As we sit courtside, nice. stolen away, Richardson, layup, good. 
That's just a nice defensive play, J.D. Battle didn't know he was there. Left to right for us, or if you're watching the basketball game on EKB TV, a little right mm. to left action. How about that? Yeah, there you go. Blaine May misses from the wing. No good. Rebound, Timmy Dalton. Dalton in the front court, spinning. Carried the basketball. I don't think he did. I didn't see it. I thought it was just a pretty good move. If they were going to call anything, he had a foot slide. I thought they might call that, but really, I don't know. <laughs> Richardson in the front court. Glad to see my money is used for something hey, good there. He even got, and, yeah, he, and he brought change. I no. He forgot he had to pay the parking meter. Okay. Ryder Johnson's pass is tipped, goes out of bounds, and Panthers will try it again. Blaine May will throw it in right in front of the Panther student section. He gets it up top to Ryder Johnson. 34 for the Panthers, 40 for the Bulldogs. Panthers trailing by six, 7.05 to play in the third quarter. I was going to say there's no movement whatsoever. Inside yeah, to Huffman. Huffman is fouled. The foul is going to go on Sean Moore of Lawrence County, his first. Zach Huffman will be at the free throw line shooting two shots. The senior big man, three of four in the game from the stripe. Huffman's free throw is good. Boy, he's got a nice stroke, I'll just tell you, for a big man especially. Matt Ralph comes back in the basketball game. Moore will have a seat for Lawrence County. Second from Huffman on the way, rattles and goes down. He hits them both. Huffman, Ryder Johnson, Wyatt Battle, Connor Reisner, Blaine May on the floor for Coach Bart Williams. Dalton, Ratliff, Kaiser, Chafin, and Richardson for Lawrence County. Chafin spins. Right wing, Richardson, bounce pass down low on the block. Kaiser back to Richardson. Out on the wing. Down low, Dalton. Draws the contact, can't get the basket to go. The foul is going to be called on Connor Reisner, number one on Reisner. And guess where he's going to be? Yep. Free throw line. But again, uh, he earned it. Dalton, a couple of dribbles, the free throw up. Draws a little bit of iron, but it falls. He's got 10 in the game. Five-point Bulldog lead. Has he made a basket other than free throw? Second free throw is good. That is a good question. He has made one two-point field goal. Wow. 42-36, Lawrence County. May's got it out on the wing. Top of the key to Ryder Johnson. Johnson dribbles to the near side, cross court to May. Battle down on the block. Huffman high off the glass, no good. Had a good look at it. Ratliff to Timmy Dalton. Dalton crossover dribble, penetrates, layup, good. Well, third quarter's not started like Coach Williams wanted. Battle on the right wing in the paint to Riser, kicks it back out. Ryder Johnson, a three ball. That'll work. Is good. Ryder Johnson has seven. Lawrence County lead down to five at 44-39 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Ratliff to Dalton, left alone, gets one step, wants to penetrate, shot, goes high off the glass, no good. Tip uh, up, over the back. That's four. Dalton, should have been a fifth, should have been a technical right there too. That's four on Dalton. And there's no excuse to fish or should have. It should have been another one right there. Yeah. Should have been another one. 44-39 Panthers with a basketball. May to Johnson. Near side, Wyatt Battle. Can't have him standing side by side. Battle puts it on the floor. <laughs> Drives, shot, no good. Oh. Rebound, Lawrence County. Moore to Ralph. Back to Austin Chafin. Out near center circle. Chafin, near side, Ratliff's got the basketball. Lob down low. Walking is the call. Turnover Bulldogs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't looking at him, I'll be honest. 
But the ref was about, what, three feet from him? Closer than we were. Ryder Johnson with the basketball for Pikeville. Right wing. Wyatt Battle has it. Battle lobs down on the block. Intended for Connor Reisner. Off the fingertips. Out of bounds. Another turnover on the Panthers. Drew Walters into the Panther lineup. And Wyatt Battle will have a seat. There is no motion in this Pikeville offense in the second half. I can tell you that. Everybody's standing around looking at each other. Both teams really out of sync right now. Chaffin near side to Richardson. Richardson comes off the screen. Dump underneath. Should have been a walk. It's a turnover. Into the hands of Ryder Johnson. Johnson up the floor to Reisner. Reisner slashes nice. to the basket. Good. And he did it without creating contact, J.D. Nice move by Reisner. Three-point basketball game, 44-41. Lawrence County on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Pull up wow. two is good from Chaffin. Back to a five-point game. Walters lost the handle, picks it up, throws it right into the hands of a Lawrence County Bulldogs. Richardson takes it the length of the floor. He's fouled by Blaine May. That's three. I have it as two. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We'll go with two. That's good. I'll take that. Coach Bart Williams wants a timeout. Good timeout yeah, in this is. position. We'll take it as well. Five-point lead for Lawrence County. Back after this, it's Panther basketball on the Oldies Radio Network and EKB TV. 46-41, Lawrence County leading Pikeville with 4.19 to go in the third quarter. And here to call the actions, J.D. Hughes. Thank you very much, Jim. Lawrence County having trouble getting the basketball inbound. They did. Five-second call. Great defense by the Panthers. Pikeville will have it and a chance to cut into the Bulldog lead, which is now five, 4.15 to play in the third. Number one stat in the second half is turnovers for both teams. Mays up high, screen set by Skeens. Wyatt Battle, nice. the freshman. Three ball corner pocket is good. Wyatt Battle with the triple. It's a two point game. Three threes for Pikeville tonight and all three coming by separate players. Chafin to Richardson. Puts it on the floor, a little handoff back to Chafin on the left side. Now dribbles back center of the floor. Screen up top. Chafin fires, three is no good. Zach Huffman with a rebound for Pikeville to Johnson. Ahead, Skeen, Skeen's to the hole, he's fouled. I like that though, no hesitation and either again, score or get, get the foul, get shot for free throw. Fouls on Sean Moore, that's his second. Sending the senior, Caleb Skeen's to the free throw line for two shots. Number one, no good. Skeen's still trying to scratch the scoreboard on his senior night. Panthers battle back to within two. Make it one as Skeens hits the free throw. 46-45 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Panthers uh, down, what, seven points not too long ago. Very easily could have uh, uh, let Lawrence go out on a big run. Instead, they battle back. Nice job by the Panthers. Now, good timeout. play a little defense. Richardson oh. spinning top of the key. Lob down low, not there. Back out we go once again. Chafin spinning, good defense by Ryder Johnson. Richardson, long three. Nope, that's off the mark. Rebound, loose, Skeens ahead. Battle to the basket, <laughs> count hesitation. it, and a foul. Nice hesitation. Boy, are you sure he's a freshman? The foul on Austin Chafin, that is his third personal foul. Give the deuce. To the freshman Wyatt Battle, he'll be at the free throw line to try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. I love the way he caught the pass, froze, let the guy go by him, foul him, and then make it. Looking for point number 16 wow. in the game. Free throw up. Wow. It's good. Panthers have battled back. They now have a so two-point lead, 48-46, three minutes to play in the third on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Richardson. Out high to Kaiser, back to Richardson, gets a step, drives. Foul, take your pick, Battle or Huffman? I'd probably go with Battle, yeah. Yep. That's three on the freshman. Speaking of comebacks, we have to mention 
last night's play at the East Kentucky Expo oh. Center. If you're a fan of college basketball, that was a place to be as free throw number one is good from Brandon Richardson. That was a battle of top six teams in the nation, NAI style, in uh, Campbellsville. Coach Keith Atkins, a paintsville guy, coaching yeah. there. Kelly Wells is Bears. Campbellsville had the U-Pike Bears down to almost 20 points uh, in the second half. What did Kelly Wells' crew do? Well, they battled back and get a big win. In overtime. And, and, nope. Regulation, my Regulation. Friend. Well, I'll tell you Ryder what. Johnson shot, no good. Big rebound by Huffman, and then loose ball. May runs it down to the backcourt. But, again, uh, Coach Wells' bunch, they battle back, get the big win. As did Joanna Magnamese, girls. I, I, I was going to say, how about Coach Mack and the ladies? Upset of a top five team from Campbellsville. And lost 18 in a row to the uh, Campbellsville. Big night for the Bears, absolutely. So, great night to be in the Expo Center. A great night to be at the Expo. Great night to be a Bear last night. Huffman, three out of the corner, no good. Loose ball, tipped around. Who's going to come away with it? Chafin, but right in the hands of Caleb Skeens. Great hustle by Skeens. Always. Hustle and Skeens goes together. 48 apiece on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. 2-10 to play in the third. Johnson dribbles on the left side. Picks it up out high to Blaine May. Near side, Wyatt Battle has it yep. at the free throw line. Skeens, turn around, jumper, good. Go. Nice bucket by Skeens, nice look by Battle. The senior with three, it's a two-point Panther lead. With under two to go, this is uh, like a tournament game. We say that every game. Chafin, oh. crossover, quick move down the lane, left-handed layup, will not go, Huffman has it to battle. Across the time stripe into front court, waits on help, Johnson to get it. Left wing, May, back to Ryder Johnson straight away. A buck 30 to play in the third quarter. Panthers, the basketball, and a two-point lead. Right wing. Battle into the lane. Skeens back out to May. Straight away, Johnson's got it. Battle out of the corner. No good. Rebound, Caleb Skeens. Johnson up top. Pull-up jumper from six. No, loose ball. Back up nice. and in by Wyatt Battle. Four-point pike for lead coming up on the one-minute mark of the third quarter. Now he's just quietly becoming the MVP of this team, J.D. Richardson into the corner for Kaiser. Kaiser gets a step, wants to go baseline, cut off by Skeens. Pull-up jumper over Skeens is good. That's all Kaiser on that one. That's nice athletic play. Quickly in the front court, Blaine May driving to the basket. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Again, Pike with the one forcing the tempo, J.D., and this is on a team that's averaging 80 points for the year. <laughs> All right. I think we understood that. Yep. May to the free throw line, shooting the two shots, the free throw, no good. Meade and Thacker back in battle, and Huffman get a breather. What? No. 52-50. to 50. Panthers lead by two. May's free throw makes it three. Reisner going in for May, going to give him a break the last 45 seconds, third quarter. That's a good move. I think so. Really the only Panther, well, two Panthers with three fouls apiece, Wyatt Battle and Caleb Skeens. Skeens on the floor. Yeah, Battle not. 38 seconds, it's a three point. Pikeville lead. Lawrence County with a basketball. Up top, Chafin with a dribble, picked up by Reisner. A little curly Neal action here. Dribbles on the near side. Kicks to Richardson. We're at 22 seconds. Richardson, crossover, wants to drive, kicks it back to Chafin on the left side. Spinning in the lane, cut off. He hopped. Three from Ralph, no good. Skeens with a rebound. Great block out by Skeens. And a foul on Lawrence County. Actually could have called travel before that three-pointer. He hopped before he shot. Foul on Richardson, that's his first. May and Battle back in. Yeah, on offense, the yep. offense for defense, I like that. Have we got water on the floor? Okay. Skeens, Johnson, May, Meade, and Battle for the Panthers. Seven seconds. Johnson across the time stripe with four. Johnson gets an opening, the runner blocked, goes out of bounds. 
1.1 tick. We've seen it so many times. That little quick inbound for the Panthers. This is where they need it. I'd lob it in to big Dalton Meade. Absolutely. Johnson looking. Battle out of the corner. The Three foul. if it goes. It will not. But they didn't call it. Three quarters in the books. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Pikeville 53. Lawrence County 50 back after this. It's Panther basketball on the Oldies Radio Network. Courtside at John Bill Trivet Court. I'm J.D. Hughes. To my left is Jim Williamson. Thanks for joining us on the Oldies Radio Network, East Kentucky Broadcasting, and EKB TV. If you're listening, well, you'll be able to watch a replay of tonight's matchup. Check your listings. It's EKB TV. There you go. Batted away into the hands of Wyatt Battle. Turnover. Battle to the basket. <laughs> yes, sir. The freshman says, I'll take it and add one. Hey, listen, he got hit as he was going in, held onto the ball, and made the layup. That's pretty tough concentration. That is four on Austin Chafin. Four on Dalton, four on Chafin. Remember that. Yep, battle with a deuce, and he's at the line to try to complete the three-point play. Free throw, money. Well, this could really be a special player in year two. 56-50. Six-point Pike full lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, 740 to play in the fourth. Chafin with a dribble on the right side. Up top it comes to Ralph. Near side Richardson. May have taken a step, now slips. Oh, are you kidding? That's not a foul. Well, especially when it's number four. Number four on Wyatt Battle. Had more contact during pregame introductions. Yep. Lawrence County with a basketball. Chafin near side Richardson. Richardson picks it up. Left wing Ratliff lets fly from behind the strap. Comes off. Same. Rebound goes to Wyatt Battle to blame May. May up the floor in a hurry. Six point Pike for lead. Cross court to Johnson. Straight away Wyatt Battle has it. Seven minutes to play in the fourth. Bounce pass on the left wing to Blaine May. Into the corner, Dalton Meade's got it nice in the paint. Look. Skeens, Skeens up. Oh. Hits the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Kaiser, Lawrence County. Ahead to Dalton. Remember, Dalton's got the four. Behind the back dribble, Ralph. Straight away, Chafin. Pass underneath, great look to Richardson. It's it good. Nice play all the way around. Four-point Pike full lead, 56-52 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Johnson has it on the right side, cross court on the far side to battle. At the elbow, Skeens back to Johnson, three is good. Wide open. That's one of those no, 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 and yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> 59-52, Panthers with the lead, Lawrence County with the basketball. What kind of message would this one send across the region? I had to be a total flip from the, earlier in the week, I'll tell you that. Kaiser spinning, picked up by May, the lob underneath to Dalton, reverse layup, good. Timmy Dalton with a deuce. Lawrence County wants and gets a timeout, we'll take it as well. 59-54 Panthers back after this. It's high school basketball on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. 59-54 Pikeville. With a five-point lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, five minutes and 53 seconds to play in regulation. Pike for the basketball out of the timeout called by Lawrence County. Johnson across the time stripe into front court, picked up by Ratliff on the near side. He's in trouble, gets it to Reisner on the wing. Ball knocked loose into the hands of Huffman. Back to Johnson, battle to May. Gets baseline, contact, shot no good. Ball tipped, out of bounds, should stay with Pikeville. And it does. I think May was looking for the foul that time and uh, probably a good no call. Ryder Johnson to throw it in. Looking, looking. Lob out high to Wyatt Battle at center circle. Battle puts it on the floor, wants to penetrate, kicks it on the right wing. Johnson left alone. Back to Battle. Out high in the lane. Reisner. May, touch pass down on the block. Two up and great ball movement. Wyatt Battle up and in. Wow. Knuckle Three ball. Three ball. From the freshman. Uh, he's just warming up, J.D. That's two for him. 
That'll tally some points up for that young man in just a second. Eight-point lead for the Panthers. Scoop shot in the paint. Dalton misses, gets his own rebound. The tip is good. Timmy Dalton. He's good. You can't give him two chances at it. He's, six, go ahead. Six-point lead for the Panthers. 4.45 to play in the fourth. Dalton's put together a heck of a game. He has mostly from the free throw line, but Pywell needs to remember he's got four. It doesn't hurt to go after that young man. Lob inside, Reisner, off balance shot, no, tipped around. Back in the hands of Connor Reisner, Johnny on the spot. Count the deuce and a Lawrence County foul. <laughs> that was strange, but it worked. Fouls on Richardson, that's his second. Connor Reisner with the basket. May have taken the ill-advised shot to start with. Give credit to Zach Huffman to keep the basketball alive. Off the rebound, back in the hands of Reisner. Get There's it. another loose ball off the free throw miss. Pikeville has it. Yeah, just run your offense. 64-56, Reisner close. to May. May gets a step, drives hard off the glass, no. Foul on Lawrence County. <laughs> May, thought it was on Blaine him. May thought it was on him. Coach Bart Williams thought it was on May. Well, simply because there's not a four for Lawrence County on the floor? He called it on 33, and there's not a 33 on the floor. <laughs> there's a 32 or 23 oh. as May. Rams 23, out. there we go. We'll get it. 23, Richardson, that's his third. So May missed the free throw, correct? Yes. He'll have one more. That one is good. Blaine May hits one of two. Nine-point lead for Pikeville. 65-56 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Panthers need to stop this trip. Richardson, three, up, no good. Kaiser kept it alive. He backs out from behind the stripe. No, partially blocked. Battle has it. Wyatt Battle, up ahead. Panthers with number, kicks it. May, three if it goes. No, it's short. Loose ball, Connor Reisner, no, got his own rebound, back up, no. Reisner, third time a charm, nope, stripped. Chafin has it, up the floor, draws the contact, flips it up and in. Count it, he'll go to the line. Can't get a one-foot shot on Pike, was in and give it up. Uh, Huffman, second personal foul, give the deuce to Chafin. So Pikeville had a chance to go into double digits with a lead, a couple of quick, Shots on goal. Couldn't get him to fall, and Lawrence County comes down. They can't complete the three-point play, but it was a big two. Seven-point lead for Pikeville. They've got the basketball. 3.35 to play in the fourth. I'm kind of screen for him. May. Straight away, Johnson has it. Near side, battle back to Ryder Johnson. Oh. Quick step, the opening was there. Reisner to May. Down on the block. Not there. Turnover into the hands of Timmy Dalton. Dalton up the floor, into the corner. Oh. Kaiser three, yep. Timeout, I'd have to call timeout. Down to four. Well, Could have been 10, it's down yeah. to four. There you timeout go. on the floor, we'll take it. Back after this, it's Panther basketball on the Oldies Radio Network and EKB TV. Courtside at the T.W. Oliver, I'm J.D. Hughes, joined by Jim Williamson. Three minutes, four seconds to play on a fourth quarter clock. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, Pikeville 65, Lawrence County 61. Lawrence County, they've cut into that Panther lead. Pikeville, they have the basketball. Ryder Johnson dribbles on the right side. Look how Cross high. court to Blaine May. They are out to half court defending. Pikeville almost got it again. The lob from Reisner. Down low to Huffman, and the foul is going to be whistled on Brandon Richardson. I have it as four on Richardson. So Richardson four, Dalton four, Austin Chafin with four. Yeah, good. Good move right here. Zach Huffman on the free throw line. Huffman's free throw rattles and falls. Coming up at the conclusion of tonight's game, We'll have your Community Trust Bank players of the game. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lenders. Senior night, 2015. If you explain the call, I just go on. Yep. Huffman hits them both from the free throw line. 
Don't have to stand here and explain everything nope. that's called. No, you don't. You made the call. You gave the benefit. Now move on. Chafin with the basketball. Dribbles left wing. Richardson's got it behind the arc. Hop step in the paint. Lob down low. Dalton got caught up in the air. Kicks it into the corner. The three is good from Grant Kaiser. Timeout once again. This time Lawrence County to him. Two minutes, 35 seconds to play in the fourth three-point game. Back after this, it's Panther basketball on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. Two minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Panthers have the basketball. The inbounds pass comes to Blaine May. May down the floor, into front court, into the corner for Caleb Skeens. Panthers, the basketball, and a three-point lead. Ryder Johnson dribbles out high, there gets an go. opening, the layup, good. Yes. I'll take that look all day. Lane's been open all night. You just got to get there. Austin Chafin with a basketball, picks it up, draws a contact. Boy, surely that was not going to be the continuation right there. The foul is whistled on Ryder Johnson, number one on Ryder. To the free throw line is Austin Chafin. I'll trade two for two. It's the threes that get me. That's, that should not be a shooting foul. Free throw is good. Chafin second good. I don't know. Do you know where you will be able to know? On EKB TV. EKB TV, you'll be able to watch the replay. How about it? Wyatt Battle takes it to the hole. On, no Caleb. good. Caleb Skeen stepped to the live. Dalton. Yep, that's five. And they fling the ball to the And crowd. it should have been a technical foul right there. I don't know how you got three people that missed them throwing the ball the length Putting of the floor. The ceiling. Threw the uh. ball all the way to the ceiling. Wow. Personal foul called on Timmy Dalton. That's five on that young man. Yeah, nobody saw it. Well, yeah, one referee showed another one how he threw it. <laughs> 17 points for Timmy Dalton. Oh, wait a minute, we're reviewing it. It should be. It's, there's no question. After the foul was called, the ball was slung yeah, the length yeah. of the floor, well, almost hit the ceiling. Hey, well, make the free throws and let's go. That's it. Minute 57 to play. Free throw from Ryder Johnson is no good. He'll have one more. Second free throw on the way from Johnson. That's no good. Loose ball. Skeens. Skeens. Who gets hammered out of bounds, but. Yep. Kept it alive and ends up on the floor after the contact. Lawrence County basketball. And a three-point game, J.D. This one far, far from over. Lawrence County with the basketball. Chafin across the time stripe in the front court. Minute 48 to play. Quick three. Richardson in and out. Huffman battles. Wins the war. May. Two on two. May to the basket. The layup. No good. Rebound. Huffman back up and in. Good job by Huffman. Staying with it. Chafin. Coast to coast. The layup is good. Back to a two-point game. Three. Three. My bad. Well, it's about like a two to Lawrence County, though. Exactly right. One possession game. A minute 18. Get away from him. Ahead to May. Jump ball. Alternating possession will stay with Pikeville. With a minute 15 to play in the fourth quarter. 71-68 Pikeville on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Skeens the inbounds to oh. Zach Huffman. Huffman puts it on the floor. Gets the opening, kicks to May. Back out to Ryder Johnson. We need to hold it. You're ahead with a minute to go. The lob underneath, but we'll take that. The high percentage shot. Zach Huffman with a deuce. 
Bulldogs, they want to run. Richardson, three ball, yes. See? Brandon Richardson, the three-point field goal. Timeout, we're not going anywhere. 53.4 seconds remaining in regulation. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, Pikeville 73. Lawrence County, 71. Wow. Another good basketball game. We've been spoiled lately. We have. I'm telling you, everything goes down to the last position. Again, Pikeville with the lead did not have to shoot. But um, still, you know, wide open path for Huffman. You can't blame him for taking the shot. But uh, keep giving up threes on this end of the court. And now we're to the point you cannot do that. No Even open there. looks. No open looks from behind the arc. Lawrence County, they have the shooters out there. Oh, yeah, everywhere. We thank you for joining us tonight on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. We thank you for those who will be watching on EKB TV as well. You'll be able to watch the replay. Uh, again, been spoiled lately with basketball. My last three games, matter of fact, <laughs> three uh, EKB TV games as well. Shelby Valley, Eastridge goes down to the wire. Eastridge yep. with a big win. Eastridge, Pikeville goes down to the wire. Nice Eastridge play. again with a big win. Pikeville, Lawrence County, two-point game. It's going to go down to the wire as well. They know how to pick them, don't they? Yes, they do. Wyatt Battle to throw it in. Gets the basketball inbounds to Zach Huffman and very quickly, a foul called on Lawrence County. The foul on Tanner Black is first. So now you see the strategy from Lawrence County is to foul early, unlike Eastridge the other night, who waited to see what Pikeville did. It worked for Eastridge the other night. We'll Let's see, see if it works for Lawrence County right. tonight. Zach Huffman's got to hit one at least. Misses the first. Yep. 73-71, Pikeville. 52 seconds remain. Huffman's free throw, good. Still a one possession game, three point Panther lead. Chafin, coast to coast, driving layup, no good. Huffman with a rebound to May. May lost the handle, stolen by Lawrence County. Richardson to Chafin, step back behind the arc to Kaiser, three on the way, no good. Rebound kicks long, run down by Johnson. Panthers don't need to shoot. Just relax. Huffman is fouled. Wow. By Tanner Black. We've got the lead, people, with less than 30 seconds to go. Just hang on to it. 74-71, Pikeville on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. We'll give the Panthers credit. They know one speed. <laughs> I know. That's but... straight ahead, my friend. Yep. Zach Huffman, the senior at the free throw line. Free throw, good. Man. That was a big one. Four point basketball game. Another double double for Zach here tonight. I've got him with 11 rebounds. Coach Bart Williams already told the official if he makes it, I want the timeout. Free throw. Rattles oh. and falls. The senior got the home bounce right there. Timeout 30. on the floor. Only a 30-second timeout. So we will keep it here. Zach Huffman, the senior, hit two huge free throws to make it a five-point game, to make it a two-possession game for Lawrence County to come back 27.8 seconds. But we've seen Lawrence County. They can oh, score three, very four. Quickly, and you know, if they can get a bucket to go, they're going to put Pikeville right back on the free throw line. So, with 27 seconds left, this one far from over. You got to figure there's probably three to four possessions in those 27 seconds, JD, especially how quickly Lawrence County is going to foul. Uh, you just got to make sure you, like you said, you don't give them an open look at a three. I mean, they may drain it anyway the way they shoot, but no more open looks. Hopefully, I can. Uh, Hang on to the voice for another few seconds right here. Oh, you got to be built up by now. I got to send special thanks to my buddy, the principal here at Pikeville High School, Dave Thomas, goes in and makes the special pot of coffee yeah. <laughs> back in the office. So I've been hitting that pretty hard here in the game. Uh, Thomas can make some coffee. He, he, can, he gets the award for the coffee, I can tell you that. Lawrence County, the quick inbounds pass, comes to Chafin in the front court. Dribbles on the right wing, a lot of time running, 20 seconds. Richardson draws the contact, forces the three, no good. Got his own rebound back up, no. 
loose ball. What was the You're going to get Skeens coming over the back. That's four on him. I do believe. That's a good call. Caleb Skeens picking up his fourth. It's one and one, though. Good hard play in, inside, but Skeens clearly came over. Well, he's a hustle guy, and sometimes that's going to get you in trouble because he's not the biggest guy out there. But he's probably got the biggest heart. 14 seconds. Lawrence County hits a couple here. Pike was still going to have to hit a free throw or two. Boy, that's big. That's a young man's not played a lot tonight. Tanner Black, that's three points in the game. It's a four-point Panther lead. 14 seconds remain. You know Lawrence County is going to foul immediately. Black's free throw. No good. Skeens with a rebound. Over to Ryder Johnson. Near side battle, and he's fouled with 9.2 on the clock. Uh, that's not bad for Pikeville. Nope. That's four on Grant Kaiser. Freshman can put it away right here. Yeah, but, man, it's still that's a pressure situation right there. 76-72. Four-point. Oh. Make it a five-point Pikeville lead. Wyatt battle with a free throw. Pikeville's made their last four free throws in a row. Made them when they counted. Probably should have waited on that one. Yeah. Up right. and in for Wyatt Battle. Thank you, Wyatt. 78-72, six seconds in the front court. Three on the way, good. Austin Chafin, how about that? Don't leave yet. Money. <laughs> Three point game. 3.1 seconds on the clock. Full timeout, but we'd be crazy to leave <laughs> at this point. 78-75 oh. Pikeville on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. If you're listening on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting, well, you've heard of Dandy. If you're going to watch or move ahead a day or so, if you are watching, it's you've worth seen watching. a dandy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, this was worth the price of the ticket, that's for sure. And again, Lawrence County coming in here, yes, they got knocked off by Morgan County by one point Wednesday night. But this was the hottest team in the 15th region, scoring 80 to 90 to 100 points a game. I think they hung, hung 110 on Belfry. Yeah. Uh, so this is a team that I don't care who you're do. playing. 110 in high school? Yeah. I mean, buddy, that's getting it done. And, of course, Dalton, one Dalton is out tonight. But, uh, but again, you still have three other players averaging double figures. Yes. Coming into the basketball game. And they beat what, if you would have polled a lot of people yes. before the season started, yes. they probably would have said Shelter Clark was your 15th region favorite. Beat them 19. <laughs> Tuesday night. Monday there, night or Tuesday There you night. go. This one. This one's going to open a whole lot of eyes in the region if it stands still. Oh that my goodness. That's a hold. Oh my goodness, he was wearing his jersey. Trying to foul Huffman, they wouldn't call it. I know he said did everything he could, coach. <laughs> yeah, it was right, right in front of us. Yeah, we had a good shot on that. Zach Huffman's jersey was pulled out about six or seven yeah, inches. So. Ryder Johnson at the free throw line. 2.2 .2 ticks on the clock. Free throw. Wow. No good. But he's got to make one. Yeah, he's got to make this one. Because a three-point field goal ties it up and sends it to overtime. That's a good timeout. Yeah, Coach it is. Bullock, Bart Williams wants to talk about it. You know what? It would have been to Pikeville's advantage to get Huffman the foul. Yeah, exactly. The way he's uh, been shooting. Coach Williams calls the, the timeout. Again, we'll keep it here as uh, Ryder Johnson missed – his first free throw attempt. And in the huddle right now, Coach Bart Williams is telling his crew, all right, when Ryder makes this one. Yes. Don't even. A, when Ryder person. makes this one, it's a four point game. Don't foul Get on the away. shot. Get away from anybody with a red jersey on. Yep. Because they can shoot the basketball. They can shoot from deep. And they're going to try to initiate the contact. That's and exactly throw it up. right. So uh, you get away with anyone with a red jersey on. And you know what? Let them have a wide open look from anywhere on the floor from three point land because I can promise you. They're going to use at least two seconds. Yeah, and one point win still as good as a ten point win. You know what I mean? At this point in time, Pike, up. Pikeville will take yes. any close win. After that game Tuesday night, this was a very, very impressive rebound for uh, Pikeville's team. Really came in here tonight hungry and have played a tremendous game. 
And if you do win, well, celebrate a couple hours and get yeah. ready for Pike Central. Another a completely different team. Yes. So, Ryder Johnson will have one free throw to basically put it in the books. Johnson's free throw, no good. Rebound to Richardson of yeah, Lawrence let's guess County. Tonight. How much time was it then? If it wasn't point six seconds, what was it? You know, I mean, wow, well, at it, least two. The officials are saying one point nine on the missed free throw by Ryder Johnson. The clock did start on the missed free throw. The rebound when the whistle was blown, the clock had gone down to what, 1.6? And the officials say, no, we're gonna put a couple more uh, tenths back on to 1.9. So, to set the stage, by the way, we've got a timeout on the floor. It's Pikeville 78, Lawrence County 75, a three-point basketball game. 1.9 on the clock. So is this one of those, look in the rule books of basketball, is 1.9 enough time to catch and, release. and shoot the basketball? I think it is. Uh, I think when it goes under a second, it is not. But uh, do you card the inbounds? I mean, you know, I tell you. So many factors right here. Your best shooter right now is over here on this side, but you got one on this side too. Or if you're Pikeville, would you immediately foul? Yeah, you got one. Put him on the line for one and one. <laughs> I do not let him shoot. Length of the court pass. And the crowd. The Lawrence County players' hands. Out of bounds. Basketball goes to Pikeville. Turnover number 13. I'm throwing it as far away from this end you as possible. Come down here. They finally got it. A foul before the inbounds, an intentional foul. It's on half, but yeah, he got his money's worth that time. So the foul on Tanner Black. So Pike was going to win the basketball game. It's just how much now? Yep. So with the intentional foul, Pike will get the ball. The ball back. So yeah. yeah, that's it. Huffman's free throw, no good. Pikeville's missed three in a row. Right after you said they uh, hit four He made row. one, and then that's it. Huh. Huffman's free throw miss. Number two yeah. is no good. Yeah. Well, this one stays interesting. We we'll go right big, back. How big now was the intentional foul? Yeah, really, seriously. Otherwise, it'd be. Throw it as far away from that basket you as you go can. Down here. You got to get it in. There it is to Huffman, and he is immediately fouled. And I'm sure we'll adjust the clock on this one, too. Seriously, we're not going to... Uh... No. The foul was called on Brandon Richardson. That's his fifth. So that young man fouls out. He had a pretty nice game as well. Yes, he did. We're not going to put time back on the clock? I mean, what's the difference this time and the last time? How about 18 for Brandon Richardson? Yeah, I know he, he can shoot from anywhere. As can Chafin, who's still in the game. You gotta turn the swing. Yeah, Huffman's gotta make one here just to make you feel good. <laughs> 0.7 seconds on the clock, three point game. Huffman, free throw, no good. Five in a row. Lawrence County staff says, guys, turn and throw. Free throw, that one is good. Finally. That one will do it. 79-75. Ball game is over in the books. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, Pikeville 79, Lawrence County 75. Finally, the Panthers win a close one here at home, and we'll come back to tell you about it right after this.